What's up guys? Pedro here and on this video we're going to be making some pickles from some cucumbers that we got right out of our own little garden using a recipe that requires an IPA beer. So let's get right into the video. Okay first let's make our brine. Uh, you're going to start off with two cups of apple cider vinegar. one 12 ounce IPA oh yeah three tablespoons of sugar oh yeah two tablespoons of salt I used kosher salt, but you can use regular table salt. One tablespoon of black peppercorn. And I am putting in a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, just because you know I like it spicy. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a boil. And uh, while it's heating up, we're gonna prep our cucumbers. Okay, it's time to prep the uh, cucumbers. First thing you want to do is wash them, of course. Okay, so the uh, blossom end of your uh, cucumber has an enzyme in it that uh, causes your pickles to be mushy. So you want to cut that end off and uh, toss it. Okay, I've got my cucumbers sliced up and ready to go. Uh, my jars are already washed and sanitized, and it's time to start filling the jars. Okay, so I'm going to pack these jars about halfway with cucumbers. Shake it up, get them down in there good. Maybe a little. And because y'all know I like it spicy, I am actually going to add a one large jalapeno to each jar. I'm going to slice it up like the cucumbers. And just add it in there, pack it down, add some more cucumbers. Pack them down in there. Get it up pretty full. Get it as full as you can. That's pretty full. Now I'm going to add the brine. Trying not to spill too much. And obviously, I'm going to have to make some more brine. That's only enough for about two of these jars. And I've told you all once before when doing this. take your jars and turn them upside down turn them upside down like this and uh, the cucumbers down here to the top uh, will get pickled right away first and then of course as you turn it up the ones in the bottom are going to get pickled by the time you get to them of course Oh yeah, I can't wait to try these. I'm probably gonna probably gonna wait about two weeks before I open that jar. And as you can see, I've got a lot more cucumbers. Um, so I'm gonna end up making about probably three more batches of that. I cannot wait to try these. 
I hope you guys try this recipe. I can't wait to dig into them. I want to give a shout out to Tim over at 8-Bit Chicken uh, for sharing his recipe. I used it as a base for my recipe. And uh, I pickled some jalapenos last year with it. Uh, two, quart, two quart jars and ate every last one of them. I saved the juice for, uh, for greens and such. Y'all go over to his uh, YouTube channel and give him some love. <laughs> one thing I did forget to mention was garlic. Uh, if you like garlic, um, and I do, I actually added it uh, off camera. Uh, I put a tablespoon of minced garlic in the recipe. My mom's coming back soon. You know what that means. Uh, fish tacos and mango salsa and a whole lot of fun. I'm going to be making some uh, watermelon rind pickles too. I made those last year and they came out awesome. Can't wait to do them again. And we're going to be taking a trip to the brewery. That's right, we're going to Omaha, Georgia to visit uh, Omaha Brewing Company. They've got a new hard water out called Island Rain. Uh, we're gonna go check it out. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it if you're so inclined. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So until next time, God bless, y'all take care.